Hey guys, Craig here from blog.chiffers.com. Outside today in the lovely spring weather here in uh, Sydney, Australia. Surrounded by the beautiful harbour behind me and the uh, incoming ferry that's probably going to toot his horn in a moment. Today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Teams, uh, specifically related to Skype for Business and if you should move across from Skype for Business to Microsoft Teams. Um, firstly though, the number one question I get is how does Teams differ from Yammer? Actually, I have an idea. This should explain it well for you. No people, all right. This is a company-wide announcement. Please don't park in the yellow bays. Does anyone want to go to the coffee shop for a coffee? Guys, does anyone want a coffee? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll have one. All right, sweet. <laughs> okay, so uh, hopefully you got that, but just in case you didn't, uh, Teams is great for your, um, your personal communication across your, across your colleagues. So maybe you guys are working on a, on a project together. You guys can, uh, can communicate rather freely, whereas Yammer is sort of more of a, a company-wide sort of broadcast system. So great for, uh, great for telling people off who are, may or may not be parking in the, in the wrong space in your car park. So there's been a lot of confusion around what Teams is, how it works with Skype for Business, or what is it for, do I need it if I'm using Slack right now? Hopefully, I'm here today to answer some of those questions for you. By the way, before we go any further, feel free to just drop a comment in the uh, comment section below if you have any further questions that you need to ask about Teams or Skype or anything Office 365 related. Put it in the comment section below and we'll get to it in the next video. All right, well, let's ju jump straight in. What is Microsoft Teams? Well, if you haven't heard already, Microsoft Teams is a new collaboration platform from Microsoft. It's basically the place that you go to share documents, chat with teammates, um, collaborate with anyone that you're working with both internally within your organization as well as external so right now you can use it for instant message that's um between you and a colleague or a group chat as well as um, video calling voice calling uh, that's between microsoft teams and skype as well uh, as well as sharing files that may be stored within your sharepoint directory why do you want to use it well instead of maybe using yammer or uh, or skype for business you can now use Microsoft Teams to uh, effectively store everything all in one place. So rather than jumping between Outlook, Skype for Business, OneDrive, SharePoint, you can all do it from a single pane of glass now. And that single pane of glass is Microsoft Teams. Is there an on-prem version of this? Right now, no, there isn't. Um, Microsoft are very cloud-centric at the moment. That means that if you want to use Microsoft Teams, you're going to need to use Office 365. So if you're not already in the cloud, get yourself a subscription to Microsoft Office 365. That'll give you everything from Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, OneDrive, Delve, Skype for Business, and Microsoft Teams access as well. So if you're not in Office 365, you're out of luck. There's no on-prem version of Microsoft Teams available at present. One of the big questions, and uh, I've got a bit of a friend over here as well. Can't see him, but I've got a bit of a bush turkey over here. He's joining in for the chat as well. Is there going to be a, uh, a replacement, or is Teams going to replace uh, my, uh, Skype for business? Uh, the short answer right now is we don't know. The long-winded answer is potentially yes. What I would suggest you do right now is potentially train your internal users on how to use Teams, maybe deploy it to your IT team internally. Get them to play around with it first. Get their feedback on potentially how your business could use it. Once you've done that, then potentially bring some users in for pilot testing, and then eventually roll it out. Um, if you're already using Yammer in your organization, you're already using Skype for Business, your users will potentially know how to use Teams already. It's so simple to use. Um, get everyone on board as soon as possible. To answer the question of if Teams is going to replace Skype, Literally the answer right now is we don't know. We know that there's gonna be a new version of the Skype for Business server on-premise released in 2018. That's gonna be the vNext version of Skype. So uh, yeah, get on board when you can. However, to answer your question, we don't know right now. That was a very long-winded way of saying we don't know, wasn't it really? So how does Teams differ from Skype for Business? Well, 
Teams is a single pane of glass that you can use to communicate across your team that you may be working on uh, with a project, for example. So rather than firing up Skype for Business, um, instant messaging each other, sending and receiving files to each other, you can now do that from within Teams itself. So you can open up a chat between your team. It's a persistent chat as well. So whereas in Skype where you'd close the window and you'd lose the chat, now in Teams, keeps a copy of that transcript for everyone to be able to see within, uh, within that channel. Um, you can send and receive files, you can edit files with each other uh, during uh, an instant message session as well and you can store those files directly in Teams itself. So when you're working on a project with someone, instead of uh, instant messaging that person and then sending them a copy of the file for them to edit and then send it back to you, you can keep that one copy of the file in one location that everyone working on that project can see and edit in real time. Another big question that I'm asked is, can I use Teams to make phone calls and receive phone calls? Right this second, right now, the answer to that is no. Do I perceive that being a feature added in the future? Absolutely. Uh, I think at some point we're going to wake up one morning and see a dial pad in Teams, and then we're going to be able to start making and receiving phone calls directly from Teams. Another reason not to fire up the Skype for Business client. And lastly, will your Skype for Business uh, equipment that you may have in meeting rooms or phones on desks work with Microsoft Teams? Uh, right now, the answer to that is no. Uh, I have tested personally Group Series 500 as well as the, uh, the Logitech Smart Dock system that uses the Surface Pro uh, as well as a, a Polycom Trio 8800 device. Now, all three of those devices do not work with Teams right now. If you try and call one of those devices from Teams as a, a Teams to Skype call, the call fails. Not able to be accepted. So right this second, right now, that equipment will not work with Microsoft Teams. Going down into the future, of course, uh, Polycom, Logitech, etc., may release updates to those products, meaning that you can then Teams enable those meeting rooms and those devices and use them effectively with Microsoft Teams. All right, guys, appreciate your time. As I said at the start of the video, if you have any further questions about Microsoft Teams, feel free to use, uh, leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, thanks guys.